the Bongo family's grip on power in Gabon has extended for approximately 55 years. Currently, the detained president is Ali Bongo, who succeeded his father, Omar Bongo, as president after Omar's 42-year tenure came to an end with his passing in 2009. Ali Bongo subsequently served two terms as president and had recently secured victory in the recent election. Interestingly in Gabon, presidential terms span seven years each, and there are no restrictions on the number of terms a president can serve. Had it not been for the military's intervention, Ali Bongo would have embarked on his third term. Welcome to Africa Info Hub an educational channel dedicated to presenting Africa to the world through a renewed perspective on its rich history. Our mission is to shed light on the diverse and fascinating narratives that have shaped the continent. To ensure that you never miss out on our exceptional content, we kindly encourage you to subscribe. Following the military junta's intervention, they installed a new leader, General Bryce Clotair Oleguin Gamer. During an important gathering attended by all the highest-ranking military officials, which included commanders-in-chief, chiefs of staff, generals, and other influential figures within the Gabonese Republic, General Bryce Clotair Oleguin Gamer received unanimous approval to lead the committee responsible for managing the transition and restoring governmental institutions. Furthermore, he was officially designated as the president during this interim period. The news of General Ngamer's appointment elicited an outpouring of support and enthusiasm from the soldiers, who cheered him on and urged him to assume command. Consequently, many people have been intrigued by the identity of Clotaire Oleguin Gamer and how he intends to reshape Gabon. General Najima is a former leader of Gabon's Presidential Guard, a distinguished unit entrusted with the critical duty of safeguarding the president. He is undeniably one of the most influential figures in Gabon and happens to be a cousin of Ali Bongo. Following in his father's footsteps, who was a military officer, Najima pursued his military education at Morocco's Royal Military Academy. Oleguin Gamer had a close association with Ali Bongo's late father, President Omar Bongo. However, when Ali assumed power in October 2009, Ngema was dispatched to Morocco and Senegal on official diplomatic assignments, purportedly to keep him at a distance from the corridors of power, as some reports suggest. Upon his return to Gabon, he assumed the role of the head of the Secret Service. Then, in 2019, he was appointed as the leader of the Republican Guard, an elite unit entrusted with the president's security and unwavering loyalty. Although General Ngamer may not share an exceptionally close bond with his numerous cousins, his connections with the Bongo family extend beyond blood relations. Throughout his career, he has encountered allegations of nepotism and corruption. Furthermore, he has amassed substantial wealth, owning three properties in the United States, all acquired between 2015 and 2018, each valued at over $1 million, and all purchased outright with cash. When confronted about these real estate holdings, General Ngema argued that an individual's privacy ought to be respected, leaving unanswered questions concerning the source of his income that enabled him to acquire million-dollar properties while serving in the military. It's essential to emphasize that these are currently unproven allegations, and they do not appear to exert a significant influence on the sentiments of the Gabonese populace. Many of them appear to be joyous in response to recent developments, heralding the decline of the Bongo family. General Ngema has indicated that President Bongo's rights will supposedly be preserved, albeit in the capacity of an ordinary citizen rather than that of a head of state, and there is a commitment that he will not be subjected to harm. Some speculate that this leniency could be attributed to General Najima's inclination to safeguard his own family given his purported relation to the Bongo family, specifically as a cousin of Ali Bongo. Nonetheless, it's noteworthy to acknowledge that the Bongo family is notably extensive, with reports suggesting that the late former president Omar Bongo had over 30, and in some accounts, more than 50 children. The question of whether General Ngema is a fitting choice to lead Gabon, or if he represents an extension of the Bongo family remains uncertain, 
and the answer will only become evident as events continue to develop in Gabon. What did you think of our video? Please share your thoughts on our video in the comment section below. If you found it enjoyable, we encourage you to spread the word to your friends and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it with your social circle on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter as well.